special case, explore the general solution of the non-homogeneous differential equation dy by dx minus 4y is equal to 2e to the 4x. Sometimes there's a problem if the complementary function contains an element of the right-hand side of the differential equation. So if the complementary function contains a sort of similar, sort of similar format, e to the 4x, then there could be a problem. Let's see. Consider finding the general solution to dy by dx minus 4y is equal to 2e to the 4x. And using the method in, like in the previous video, the complementary function is found from the associated associated homogeneous equation. So what we do dy by dx minus 4y is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation it becomes m minus 4 is equal to 0. So m is equal to 4. And therefore the complementary function will be of the format a e to the 4x. It's always of this sort of format. So for the particular integral, if we use the idea in the table in the previous video at the end, y, we'll try y is equal to p, p to the e to the 4x. Then we know that y is made up from the complementary function plus the particular integral. And then we have that y is equal to a e to the 4x for the complementary function. And we have plus p e to the 4x for the particular integral that we just tried. And therefore that becomes a plus p e to the 4x. And that's of the same format as the complementary function. y is equal to q e to the 4x, where q is a plus p. So it's a sort of same format. This is the solution to the homogeneous differential equation, i.e. the one that's equal to 0, but not the non-homogeneous one. So, if we now look at the original differential equation um, using the integral integrating factor technique, and so we've got dy by dx minus 4y is 2e to the 4x, the ind integrating factor will be e to the integral of px dx, which is e to the of uh, 4 minus 4 dx, which gives me e to the minus 4x. So multiplying everything through by e to the minus 4x, we get e to the minus 4x dy by dx minus 4e to the minus 4x times y is equal to e to the minus 4x times 2e to the 4x. So these two here, it would be like e to the 4x over e to the 4x, so just give me 1. So on this side, we're just going to get 2. So we've got an e to the minus 4x dy by dx minus 4y, 4e to the minus 4x y is equal to 2. This is just an expansion of the product rule of if you differentiate e minus 4x times y is equal to 2. If you now integrate with respect to x, so you get d, the integral d dx of e to the minus 4x times y dx is equal to the integral of 2 dx. Well, Differentiate and integrate, you're just going to get e to the minus 4x times y. On this side, you're going to get 2x plus a. If you now divide by e to the minus 4x, so on here you're going to get a over e to the minus 4x, which is a times e to the 4x. And here we've got 2x e to the minus 4x. You can see that the particular integral is of this format, px e to the kx. And we have the same complementary function when we tried to solve it using the auxiliary equation before. So we need to be a bit careful when we got this. Early. So in this 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 sort of case, the required strategy is if the complementary function is a e to the kx, we should try for the particular integral p x e to the four kx. And if if the complementary function is p x e to the kx, then we should try px squared e to the kx, and so on. So this gives us like a strategy in order to solve this type of equation where the right-hand side is some element of the complementary function.